In this video, we're going to show you how to put up a pillowcase wall. Uh, we offer quite a few different sizes of pillowcase walls in different widths, also in different shapes. We have a straight, we have a curved wall, and also an S-curve wall. Uh, they all set up very similar. Uh, concept is all the same. So we'll walk through this one. The one we're going to be doing is a three foot wide by eight foot tall uh, premium pillowcase wall. The premium meaning it's got a more robust base, meaning you can have it uh, outside and it's not going to tip over as easily. Um, so in order to get started, you're going to want to open up your bag. Open up your bag, uh, pull out your fabric, set that to the side. Then you're going to want to generally pull out your parts. Uh, some of these will have a, a stretch cord in the middle, keeping them connected. Um, in those cases, you know they're going to be super easy. If your frame does not have those, some of those uh, are not on some of the pieces. All you're going to need to do is look for the stickers. Uh, they're numbered and they have arrows, so this one will one and one, so you're going to want to make sure that one and one go together, two and two go together, etc. And then there's going to be little push clips. You push those in until it lines up and the push clip pops back out the other hole. So do that with all your pieces. Example, two and two on this one. And start attaching your pieces, especially the ones that have the uh, elastic cord in the middle of them. And then on this, these poles are actually going to go at the top and the bottom horizontally to help give rigidity to the frame. And we will not put those in quite yet. Where this frame's kind of a little bit bigger and heavier, I'm gonna put this down kind of where I want it to be to start with. You can always move it uh, once it's up and ready, but uh, for the sake of this, it'll be a, little, be a little easier to have it already down. All right, so with this one, we're gonna find the, we're going to start with our one piece and just kind of work from there. Uh, we're going to go down here and attach this to the base. It's got the little push clip. Wait until it pops out. We're going to take our other one over here and do the same thing until it pops out there. And then on the top, so if we try and attach one piece here, and then this top piece here, and then the last piece here, you're gonna have a hard time getting those to attach without trying to have them flex the tubes and possibly damage them. So what we like to do is have a piece so that you can slide both pieces on at the top at the same time. So I'm gonna find the pieces that correlate. So I've got five and five, I'm gonna connect those together. And then I've got a four right here, here, connect those. So now this way, instead of trying to put it on and have it uh, flex the poles, we can just do it at the same time. So I've got six and six lining up. Three and three. Okay, there we go. So now we need to put in these center support poles. This can actually be done. Just slide it in. And then you're going to have to pull out a little bit, not too much, and just gently slide it in there. For this bottom pole, the center support, uh, one side is going to have a compression spring in it. Um, that way you're going to be able to get it in because there's not going to be nearly as much flex as there is in the middle here. So all you need to do is stick one side in, preferably the side that has compression. If you start with that one, it's a lot easier than trying to get your fingers in there and push on it. So you're going to start with the side that has compression and then take it, push this in until you get the other uh, knob lined up with the hole and then let the compression out until those are in firm there. Uh, now that we've got the frame set up, we can attach the fabric. You're going to want to find the side that has a zipper because that's where we're going to start. Make sure it is unzipped and then simply so this is going to be the bottom, the part with the zipper that's going to go over the top. And we're going to pull that down up over. 
Uh, I'm pretty tall, so it's a bit easier for me because I'm tall, I've got the long arms. If you're not that, you can definitely put this thing down on its side uh, and do it that way or get a chair and pull it down from the top that way. Uh, you're also going to want to make sure that you have it on straight and that the fabric is not twisted. Uh, a good way to tell is you're going to, there's going to be a sewn seam on the fabric here. You're going to want to make sure that those sewn seams are on the outside of the frame and not somewhere here in the middle and somewhere on the back as well. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of got the seams that are starting to come on the front, so I'm going to take both sides and just kind of twist it and rotate the fabric to get those so that they're lined up correctly. Make sure that you've got the fabric pulled all the way down from the top, so I kind of start at the corners and start to pull down. You're going to want to make sure that you've got it pulled down as much as possible. Uh, there is going to be tension on this when you uh, do the zipper up around the bottom of this. That way it keeps it nice and tight and looking really sharp. You're not going to see any wrinkles in it. Uh, once you've got it pulled all the way down, we just now need to attach the zipper and do the zipper up. Like I said, you want to make sure you do the zipper so that it goes around this bar and helps keep everything tight. If you're struggling at all with the zipper, if it just doesn't want to go, um, what you can do is have a person pull down on the front and the back, trying to relieve some of the tension so that you're not fighting against the bar. If you do that, it's going to zip a whole lot easier. And then just take the zipper all the way to the end. And after that, you're good to go. You can reposition the wall as needed. Um, and you should be ready to go and display. In order to take down the wall, pretty much the reverse process, you're going to want to take the zipper, undo it, all the way, make sure that they disconnect, and then start pulling up on the fabric. If you try and start pulling up here, there's enough tension that it's just not going to work very well. So you kind of need to start at the bottom, usually working side to side. Once you get enough built up, where it's bunched up like this, it's not going to want to go anymore. At that point, start pulling from the top of the bunch. Like so. Once you get it taken off, uh, you don't have to, but we highly recommend uh, folding these nicely. Uh, even though they get pulled tight and don't really show the wrinkles, it just helps them pack away better and keeps them ready for use more quickly. Uh, in order to do the frame, same thing, reverse the process. We're going to start down here at the bottom with the compression spring uh, bar. So push in so that it releases the one notch from the other. Take that bar out with this center one. You can simply just pull on the frame a little bit. Pull that bar out. We're going to start here at these two top pieces. Push these buttons in until they are no longer restricting. Pull the top off. Do these buttons. Then I can start here so the whole thing comes off. And if you remember, these ones have the uh, stretch cords in them, so they're not going to come completely apart, but they are going to come apart enough that we can uh, fold them so that they'll fit in the storage bag. There you go, and once you have all your pieces done, you can simply put them back in the bag and you're going to be good to go.